Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And hey, welcome back, everybody. It was a pretty nice day out there. We're going to have a pretty nice Sunday, but we do have a little bit of shower activity for some of us to get through first. Show that to you in a second. Here's a look outside to Dickinson. Nice and quiet on this Saturday evening. Slightly below average today, or above average, excuse me, in the Dickinson area. You got the 73 degrees, 4 degrees above the average of 69. That record set back in 1984, 92. But look at that low in 1896. Lower teens. My goodness gracious, is that a cold morning? Meanwhile, also quiet in Bismarck. You can probably still make out a little bit of that haze out on the horizon out there from those uh, stubborn, pesky western wildfires. Four degrees above the average as well for Bismarck today, 75, as opposed to where you should be for this time of the year at 71. Still a hot day in 1972, 94 degrees. Nothing like that anytime soon. We are watching a system that is sliding mostly through northeastern Montana, but still could touch off a couple of showers across our far western counties tonight. Maybe a rumble of thunder should not be any, anything severe. You'll see that with precision cast here in a second. Here's a look at temperatures across the region. That looks like the cool spot right now is Dickinson at 59. The warm spot looks to be a tie between Willis, or excuse me, Sydney at 67. We'll zoom it in for a closer look at your neighborhood. Most places are in the 60s right now, but a few upper 50s, like in Tuttle, creeping in to the picture. About the same thing to the north. Slightly cooler. Rollins at 59, as well as Harvey and the Turtle Lake area and Velva. Back across the west, mid 60s for Plentywood and Watford City. Winds right now are out of the northwest. They've kind of shifted around here, mostly between 10 and 15 miles an hour. There are some embedded higher gusts in there. We talked about that system. Models really having a hard time just because there's so little precipitation associated with this system, especially for our area. And this will slide through in the overnight hours. And you can see a couple of sprinkles here when you wake up maybe for breakfast or church tomorrow around the capital city. Probably nothing, like I said, strong or severe, but can't rule out a rumble of thunder. I think most of the precipitation should be through by about lunchtime or so before that front presses off into the uh, Red River Valley. I talked about that severe weather storm prediction center really not saying much, just an isolated non-severe thunderstorm. And really this rain is not expected to drop very much. You can see just some spotty uh, forecasted amounts for a trace to a quarter of an inch. And we are going to warm up here over the next six to ten days. You can see a pretty good shot at above average temperatures from later September, probably middle to latter part of next week. And then as we get into early October, still a good chance at above average temperatures. Lows tonight right around where they should be for this time of the year, mostly in the lower to mid 50s across the area. Uh, right around 60 degrees for our friends far to the east. Highs tomorrow will only rebound still above average by just a few degrees. So pretty nice day out there besides a couple of morning sprinkles. Three-day forecast for Dickinson, lots of sunshine. Warming temperatures through Tuesday, which is the first day of fall. The autumnal equinox will happen at around 8.30 on Tuesday morning. So summer will officially come to an end. Unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. There's your extended forecast, a warm autumnal equinox, and then we fall back to around average levels. Same thing for the Magic City, Renee. I know you're looking forward to that 82, but then we fall back into the lower 70s by the time we get to the middle part of next week. I can manage the 70s. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much, Robert. Coming up next in sports, we have soccer action from around the WDA. David Gibson has all that and more up next.